the body's ability to control and utilize sugar in the form of glucose as a fuel is usually impaired in type 2 diabetes cases now too much sugar in a circ is circulating in the blood stream as a result of this chronic condition now eventually problems will happen with the brain immunological as well as the cardiovascular systems and it can all result from excessive blood sugar levels now the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors that is the dpp4 inhibitors have recently emerged as a new class of anti diabetic drugs that show favorable results in improving the glycemic control with minimal risk of hypoglycemia and even weight gain Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about the study of the efficacy of up titrating teneliglutin dose from a standard dose of 20 mg to a higher dose of 40 mg in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. To study the efficacy of up titrating the dose of teneliglutin from 20 to 40 mg in patients with type 2 DM, researchers conducted a retrospective comparative analysis in 53 type 2 diabetes mellitus patients who had follow up records for more than 6 months period. The study that I'm talking about was published in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India. These patients were uncontrolled after the use of at least 3 oral anti-diabetic drugs and teneliglutin 20 mg was added as the fourth drug. Patients who still remained uncontrolled with the addition of this drug at the end of 3 months were then also switched to receive 40 mg of teneliglutin daily. These were all the patients who were included. The results were analyzed at 3 and 6 months period to ascertain the efficacy of high dose that is 40 mg of teneliglutin. All the other oral antidiabetic drugs remained the same in both the groups. In all the patients the fasting blood glucose the postprandial blood glucose as well as the HbA1c levels were all evaluated and compared so at the end of 3 months after using the teneliglutin dosage of 40 mg the mean reduction in the HbA1c level was 0.5% Similarly a mean reduction in the fasting blood sugar and the postprandial blood sugars were 6.5 and 3.6 respectively. So at the end of 6 months period after using a teneliglutin 40 mg HbA1c showed no change but the mean fasting as well as the postprandial levels they showed a modest reduction. So the authors hence concluded that the results showed no statistically significant improvement in the glycemic parameters. when the dosage of teneliglutin was increased from 20 to 40 mg at 3 months period but at the 6 month period the fasting and the postprandial blood sugars they show a modest reduction but the hba1c however showed no change that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon